Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Persil 2803 sunglasses. But first off, I do want to apologize if the video quality is a little bit worse than it normally is because unfortunately, I dropped my main go-to filming lens, which is the Canon RF 24-270 f2.8 lens. As you guys can see here, it's absolutely destroyed. I think this lens cost me about $2,500 of tax, so that really, really hurts to break this lens. And unfortunately, it's not even in stock right now because of what's happening with the supply chain shortages because of the pandemic so it's gonna be a little while till I can buy another one of these and actually get it here in the studio so again if the video quality is a little bit worse than it normally is that is the reason and for those of you camera guys who are curious what lens I'm using right now I'm using the Canon RF 24 to 105 millimeter f4 ln so it's not going to be quite as sharp and it's not going to be quite as fast either well anyway sorry for that brief interruption let's get back to the actual review over these sunglasses now as far as dimensions go these sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses in a 16 millimeter bridge and as far as looks go these look very similar to the ray-ban new wayfair sunglasses but these sunglasses are definitely classics in personal sunglass lineup they've been around for a very long time so taking a look at the top corners of the sunglasses we can see the personal supreme arrow and and moving down the temples, we can see these two little metal rivets, which are a part of Purcell's Meflecto stem system. For those of you guys who are not familiar with that system, that allows the sunglasses to bend out here at the stems and give a custom fit to the face. So as you guys can see, by bending a little bit, they're going to bend out and then they're going to also come in and hug the face. And that means that basically anybody's going to be able to put this pair of sunglasses on and have a perfect fit. And they're gonna be much more comfortable than a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, for example. The core way of these frames are Purcell's Cafe frames. For those of you guys who don't know, Cafe is spelled a little bit differently in Italian, but it means coffee. So these are basically Purcell's coffee frames. And I can definitely uh, see the beautiful coffee looking color here on these beautiful acetate frames. It really does look nice and I completely understand why they named it Cafe. Now as far as lenses go, these sunglasses feature Purcell's brown gradient lenses. So here you can see up top where the sun is mostly going to be, they are dark and then they get very light here towards the bottom, which adds a really cool look when wearing these sunglasses and actually adds a little bit of practicality as well. That way if you're looking down at your phone or somewhere that's not so bright, you're really not going to need as much shade as you do here up top. However, that being said, these sunglasses still are only category two lenses, so they're not going to be great for extremely bright and sunny days. These are going to be good for overcast days to averagely bright days. Now, of course, like every pair of authentic personal sunglasses, these have a little etched personal logo here in the top right corner of the lens for authentication purposes. These frames also feature very nice and premium all metal hinges, which feel very good when open up and when closing them. These are five barrel hinges, which are definitely high quality, but the only complaint as far as quality goes here is here where the hinge meets the temples. We can see it just looks a little unfinished and a little unpolished, which definitely doesn't feel, you know, very premium. I'm not sure why they didn't polish that out and if it's like that on every single pair of these sunglasses. So it's not that big of a deal, but definitely worth mentioning. Now, as far as where these sunglasses are made, of course, these are personal. So they're going to be made in Italy and they sit here in the inner right temple sunglasses. They say personal handmade in Italy. And then we can also see a little personal logo here in the inner right ear rest of the sunglasses. And also here on the left ear rest of the sunglasses. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these are going to offer pretty decent coverage. Here we can see up top, there isn't a huge gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there really isn't a huge gap. So overall, I'd say they have just about as good practicality as a pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses, which is definitely pretty good. Now, the sunglasses do have all glass lenses and the optical clarity of these is definitely very, very, very good. Uh, everything looks very pure and crisp when looking through them. And they also have a very nice anti-reflective material here, which helps reduce sunlight bouncing off the lens and coming into your eye. So that's really nice to see there as well. As far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run you around $208 directly from Purcell. However, I've seen these a lot cheaper on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in current pricing and availability, I will leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check out this exact pair of sunglasses directly on Amazon. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.